In our last video, we understood the Hicksian approach of demand functions and also the minimized expenditure function. In this video, we will use uh, a lemma that is a smaller part of a formula or logic. This is the meaning of lemma and it was presented by Ronald William Shefford whose lifespan was this. So he gave this idea in which we are able to use the minimized expenditure function in order to retrieve the Hicksian demand functions. It is slightly uh, similar to the Roy's identity where we used the indirect utility function to find out or retrieve the Marshallian demand functions. Uh, however, the formula is simpler because in this case we just have to differentiate once whereas in Roy's identity we had to find out two derivatives. The method is simple that we, if we want to get the compensated demand function or the Hicksian demand function, we simply differentiate the minimized expenditure function with respect to the price of that certain commodity and then we will be able to get it. That is minimized expenditure function when treated through Shefford lemma will become Hicksian demand function where the Shefford lemma process is simply the derivative of the minimized expenditure function with respect to the price of that good. So this will give us the Hickson demand function for X. For Hickson demand function of Y, we can differentiate it, that is the minimized expenditure function with respect to its own price, that is PY. So now let's do this one by one. The minimized expenditure function, it is to be differentiated with respect to px. Here we have done this, the minimized expenditure function differentiated with respect to px. When we do this, the uh, value of the minimized expenditure function as found in our last video is this. And now, since we know that px is that variable under consideration, so we will use this as a variable, whereas all the remaining terms will be treated as constant. Therefore, they are acting like a coefficient outside the derivative term. 2 is also a constant, so it gets treated like a coefficient. Now, this uh, uh, power rule will help us to solve this, and this is the application of power rule on the selected part. This is the power, and this power, when gets multiplied with 2, becomes 0.9. This is the uh, function after the deduction of 1 from its power, so it will uh, become minus 0.55 with, uh, as its power and the remaining term will remain as it is. Now further, if it, uh, since it is in a negative uh, power, we can reciprocalize it and bring it in the denominator which will make its power positive. Now they are having the same power. This is something we visualized it before and now we are going to benefit from it by writing it py over px and the whole power is 0.55 and when we look at this result that we have obtained after differentiation it is equal to the Hicksian demand function for x so this verifies that Hicksian demand function for x can be recovered via the minimized expenditure function by applying the Shefford lemma now we can do the same process for the other good that is good y and for that we have to differentiate the minimized expenditure function with respect to p y or its own price. So when we did this we have this simple differentiation which you can understand by keeping in your minds what we have done in the previous case here. So it is very much similar. Now, uh, PY should be treated as a variable, so it is kept here with the derivative in t uh, operator and PX and U gets treated as constant, so they remain outside the derivative term. So it is 2 here, it is 2 here, and here we are going to apply the power rule. When we apply the power rule, power comes outside and getting multiplied with 2, it becomes this. and 0.55 minus 1 will become minus 0.45. Now we can write it like this uh, where the 
py term is reciprocalized because we were eyeing the same power of them after this reciprocalization it is possible not before because the negative sign is here whereas there is a positive sign with the power of px now we can write them together and uh, this 1.11 1 .1 can be written as 1 over 0.9 because it was 0.9 so there is a kind of reciprocalization between this term and that one as we can also see it was py over px and this is px over py so this reciprocal flavor is uh, suitable here whereas u uh, gets multiplied and remains as it is we can write this uh, multiplication sign here to keep it uh, more readable and now we can say that this term that we have developed is actually the demand function of good y from Hicksian point of view and we have obtained it simply by using the minimize expenditure function and differentiating it with respect to py and this is the process of using Shefford lemma and this is applicable in the case of Hicksian demand function so the Shefford lemma is verifying what it is expected to do that is to recover the Hicksian or compensatory demand function from the minimized expenditure function Thank you.